In this tutorial, we'll install everything necessary to run the Phoenix app on a DigitalOcean server. Before getting everything installed on the server, it's a good idea to run sudo apt-get update to get the latest registered versions of packages. You will be asked for your password from when you created your account. Next, run sudo apt-get install-y build essential. This will install compilers and libraries that could be necessary for other package installations. Dash Y means don't ask for confirmation when installing packages. Otherwise, it will ask you to confirm every single thing it's trying to install. Now we can install Erlang and Elixir. Go to Erlang Solutions and find the latest registered package and download it with wget. Next, using the Debian Package Manager, install the package that was just downloaded. Now when you run sudo apt-get update, you will see the Erlang Solutions packages being registered. After that, run sudo apt-get install Erlang, which should install the latest version of Erlang, followed by sudo apt-get install Elixir. Erlang installation will take about a minute and the Elixir installation is going to take just a few seconds. You can confirm everything succeeded with Elixir-V, which will show the latest version, which is 1.10 at this time. After getting Erlang and Elixir installed, we're going to do a similar thing for Node. We need Node because the Phoenix framework is using it for asset management. Head to Node Source Repository on GitHub and find the latest node distribution package. Copy that command and paste it into the terminal on the server. Now run sudo apt-get update to register that package. After that, run sudo apt-get install-y node.js. Confirm that everything went okay by running node-v, which should show you the version you saw on the node repository page. Also check npm-v, which is the node package manager, to be sure that that installed as well. Next, we're going to install and set up MySQL database. Run sudo apt-get install MySQL server. Next, run sudo apt-get install MySQL client. And finally, run sudo apt-get install libmysql client dev. With that out of the way, we can now set up the database server. Run sudo mysql secure installation. This program will go through the database security configuration and will set up things like the root password and other security options. The first step will ask to set up a root password. It's safe to pick something very simple here. In fact, I'm going to have literally some password as the password. Say yes to removing anonymous users and the next prompt will be to disallow remote root login. And this is why it is safe to have a basic password because this will make the database server not available to the outside world. The database communication will take place through the application layer. Answer yes for removing the test database and for removing privilege tables. Next, get into the database with sudo mysql. Note how that did not ask for a password. You can check all the registered users by running select on the MySQL user table. This will show that the root password for a local host does not have an authentication string. Set the password by running alter user root at local host. Be sure to include the quotes. Identified with MySQL native password by some password. Again, note the quotes. Now run flush privileges and exit. To confirm the setup went correctly, run mysql u root p and enter some password at the password prompt. If you made it into the server, everything went as expected and the server now has a mysql database installed and configured.